Last week, NCM talked to Norwood energy advocate Julie Barber Iser about the reasons for small businesses to be more energy efficient. This week, we talked with her, as well as Norwood Select Woman Amanda Groh, about how homeowners can not only be more energy efficient, but also save some money at the same time. Homeowners can look into um, energy efficiency so they can really realize some of the cost savings if they can lower their utility bills. Um, a lot of items like air sealing, which would seal up the gaps in your, along your windows and doors, can be done at no cost to you. And then something like insulation um, can be done at a, a steep discount. So it can really save homeowners a lot of money and then it's uh, also good for the environment. Norwood Selectman Amanda Groh was one of the homeowners in town that looked to improve her energy efficiency. Groh had a geothermal heat pump installed at her home a couple years ago, and currently through Mass Save, homeowners can save a decent amount of money if they're looking to install a heat pump in their own homes. Currently through Mass Save, homeowners can get $15,000 off the cost of a geothermal system like Amanda's. And then other heat pumps, there's, there's a variety of different heat pumps that fit different homes and different budgets. And um, the regular heat pumps that most people look at are up to $10,000 off, both through Mass Save and through Norwood Light. I decided to convert my home from an oil-based heating system to an air source uh, heat pump. Uh, and I also did some insulation and some weatherization. It's really interesting the way these systems work because what they're doing is, unlike most systems where you're trying to push hot air through the air using resistance, what these are doing is taking the ambient temperatures that are already in the air around it and either pulling the heat towards where it needs to go or pulling the heat out and throwing it somewhere else that's not in your house. There's a lot of different reasons that homeowners should consider doing what I did. Um, I've Originally it was for me all about the carbon footprint, uh, but what I've found is I have a lot of cost savings, a lot of just actual energy savings, and even increased safety benefits. Added safety in her home wasn't the main reason for going more energy efficient, but Amanda says it was a welcomed add-on. I realized that I don't have to worry about a giant oil tank in my basement. One of the things I had learned over the years looking at uh, different hazard spills in the town is that, you know, that's one of the risks you can have is your oil tank can fail and fill your basement up with, you know, diesel essentially, um, which is a risk. You don't have to worry about fumes. You don't have to worry about um, the gas leaks or, or high pressure gas explosions like we saw in the Merrimack Valley. The entire system and all the work done on her home has shown that it helps not only the impact on the environment, but the impact on Amanda's wallet as well. This has helped us in many ways in our home. Um, first off, we weren't originally planning for this to be a huge major change, maybe some cost savings, but we found that it was a lot of cost savings. We, we actually uh, allowed Norwood Light uh, and the, the town's energy manager access to the data about the changes in our energy usage. So by the time we got done with all these projects of, of doing the insulation, getting the heat pumps, changing the water heater, um, by the end of it, we're looking at like 40% 40 40 savings uh, in terms of our, our energy bill and the amount of electricity usage that we're using now, it only increased by like 17%, but our overall cost savings was 40% compared to what we were paying to refill the oil tank. Uh, the one thing I wanted residents of Norway to take away from this interview was when I first did this, uh, it was about you know lowering my carbon footprint, but what I found was uh, sometimes with a big decision like this where you're making such a radical change to your home, these are systems that last like decades of the house that you're in. Uh, and I wanted people to be able to see what it was like to go through the experience or to have somebody that they knew like that they could ask questions like, hey, what about this or how did this work? Uh, and so I think it's really important to, to talk to people that you know to get their feedback if they've done one of these systems. And I know that there's lots of people in town that have at this point. Um, and so especially as the incentives have been increasing, there's a lot of really good savings. If you're going to make a big change like this, that now is a really good time and lots of us are willing to, to answer questions and put out data about our usage so you can really understand what's it like here where I live here in Norwood as, a, as opposed to some abstract place somewhere else where people are doing this. It's like this is what it's like here in Norwood. Even though Amanda was one of the homeowners to have the heat pump be one of the first things installed, now residents have to start with a home energy assessment and get weatherization and insulation before they can get their rebate on a heat pump. 
If you are looking to get started making your home more energy efficient, you can start by going to MassSave.com forward slash NSW or NorwoodLight.com forward slash rebates. You can also call MassSave at 781-536-9864 and email jbarbarisa at NorwoodMA.gov with any questions you may have.